how the rational mind that is focused on spirit gives thoughts that are closer to the indwelling spirit. Because of this, the animal nature slays our rational mind. And so, <clears throat> excuse me. And so here we have Cain inviting, we have Cain inviting his brother to the end, right? We have Cain for, for, for no reason other than because he's angry and his countenance has fallen, does he decide to kill his brother? But as I said earlier, there is no benefit or value in our inflicting violence upon ourselves when we don't, just because we don't understand what it is we have just come up against. He doesn't understand. Perhaps, I, I, I would submit to you that he does, but he doesn't appear to understand why his offering is rejected. Just like some of us don't understand why what we are offering is being rejected. But if you don't offer it from the right place, who in the world wants you? Who, who? <laughs> to use, to, to, to borrow a word from, from the world of rap, if what you're offering is whack, if what you're offering is whack, why would the person that you're offering it to have some regard for it? I had a, I had a, a good friend when I, was, when, I was in the, uh, when I was in California. Good friend. When, you, when, when you're away, when you're in the Navy, the people that you're with there, they sort of become your family. But at one point, uh, our relationship, for whatever reason, just went a, went a little south. And, but we, you know, we would buy one of, you know, Christmas gifts, we would exchange, we were family. We were family. And this particular Christmas, we exchanged gifts. And I, I you know, I, I, I got him, you know, something, something really nice. And he brought me this, this shirt. Now, we used to go shopping together, so he has great taste, I have great taste. Right, pop my collar on that one. But this shirt, that he, this shirt that he gave me was really, really whack. <laughs> it was whack. But it was consistent with the nature of our relationship at the time, right? He didn't have much regard for me at the time. Not because of anything that I'd done. <laughs> Watch out now. It was... <laughs> It was, it was actually because I was doing well. Right? It was actually because I was doing well. But it was just odd to see that we were having this sort of exchange. We were having our own Cain and Abel experience. Now, had he tried to kill me, it would have been on and popping. <laughs> Let's keep going. Uh, man. So don't inflict violence upon yourself because you're having difficulty uh, rationalizing the conflict that you experience in your soul. How do we inflict violence upon ourselves? Well, we, 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 say, things, we say things about ourselves that we just should not say. We, we look at ourselves and we... We, we don't realize sometimes, and, and you know, I realize that since those of us here have, have been indoctrinated or been attempting to be indoctrinated in a, a theology that gives us a, a foundational and solid sense of self-worth. See, but when you don't know who you are, when you don't understand and appreciate and value your worth, then you just don't. And so you find yourself, you, you can find yourself sabotaging your own success because you don't know who you are. You don't understand who you are. So what we see from Cain is, is a, a, a continuous line of self-sabotage. Now, there's one thing to sabotage yourself. It's a whole nother to sabotage somebody else. 
Huh? But this is what we see from this Cain consciousness. Let's keep going. There are consequences for the soul being out of balance, but Cain, body consciousness, is part of us and can't be destroyed. It must be lifted up. So then we must understand, we must take a holistic approach to ourselves. We are threefold beings. We are threefold beings. What are those? We are spirit, soul, body. We are threefold beings. We must take a holistic approach to ourselves. See, the fact that we make a mistake or, or do something wrong, that is not nearly a good enough reason to go ahead and, and kill yourself or to kill your brother or to inflict violence on yourself. That's not a good enough reason. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Love yourself. Right? As a matter of fact, even before you start to love somebody else, really love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Really appreciate yourself. Really value and esteem you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you, you the, you the bum. And I, you, you might not be showing it. You know what I'm saying? Your demonstration might, right now might be whack. It just might be. You might not have the money you want. You might not be with the person you want. You might not have any of what you want. You might not have the level of education you want. You might not have the job you want. You might not be around the people you want to be around. And all of that is only a sign to you that you can get to where it is you want to be, but you have to understand that you're worth the experience. You're worth the work that it's going to take for you to get there. One of the things that we do subconsciously is teach people how to treat us. And they take their cue from how you treat yourself. So if you think or you believe that you deserve to be abused and you abuse yourself, then you say to the world, you know what? I'm a good target for abuse. Does that make sense? Seth represents the compensation of the Lord God that doesn't allow the higher impulses of the soul to be eliminated by body consciousness. So there are three ways in which we can reconcile, reconcile what has happened in the Cain and Abel part of our experience and then experience the goodness of God with the Seth part of our experience. The first, as I just talked about a little bit, is know who you are, right? Know who you are, knows who you know, whose you are. Do not play yourself short or cheap. Don't do it. Next, give and do your best. Right? If you give and do your best, you don't have to worry about how your offering will be regarded. Give and do your best, and your offering has to be regarded as the best. And last but not least, forgive yourself and forgive others. <laughs> the past, you realize, is gone, don't you? And it's not coming back. It only exists right now as the thoughts, the emotions, the impressions that you have of an experience that's gone. The only way the past is significant is if in your mind you continue to dwell on whatever the experience was from yesterday. So you do those three things and you'll find yourself able to get beyond your Cain, selfish self. Because see, when you forgive, you give yourself. When you forgive, you give of yourself. So love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be nice to yourself. Say good things about yourself. Hug yourself. Buy yourself something nice. You know what I'm saying? Dress you up. Get you, get, get you looking right. Get, get, you know, get your swagger up for you. Not for nobody else. You don't, don't worry about the date. Take yourself out. <laughs> because if I don't want to be with me, if I don't want to be with me, 
If I don't think I'm worth being with me, then why in the world would I expect you to want to be with me? That's it. That's all. God bless you. I love you.